Hi, it is Motivation Monday, and today we're talking about this crazy market and a surefire way for you to make sure that you come out on top. Guys, as you can see, I am sitting in my car today. I am ready to hit the road. And what we're talking about today is going back to the basics. And that's why I'm in here, because this is my vehicle to reach my clients. And for a lot of you, you are you're in the same situation. Uh, you do a ton of driving. You talk to a lot of different people, and that's what you need to be doing. But if you're not really sure what those basics are, because you started in the last few years, or maybe you've been in the business for a long time, but you just need a quick reminder on what is the most essential part of your business. Let's talk about that today. Uh, first of all, the main thing you want to be doing is every single day, go out and talk to people. It doesn't matter if it's specifically related to real estate. It's about creating relationships with people and making sure that you're connecting. So your goal should be anywhere between 80 and 100 contacts a week. And that can be things as simple as a quick text message that they're responding back to you at. That could be a home visit. That could be a phone call. And those touch points are key because who do people use? Use when they think of any kind of business. They use the person who reached out last. Now, they also use people they know, like, and trust. So by reaching out on a consistent basis, getting to know people on a personal level, who are they going to call when they want to purchase a house or sell a property? You. Because you've been consistently running your basics, reaching out to customers and potential leads. So that's one of the biggest ones. So if you're concerned about the market, if this is gonna this market is going to favor people who are okay with working. If you're not okay with working, if your first response is that's a lot of work, guys, that's not going to get you anywhere. Um, this is, there's no magic button to push. This last market has been unusual, and so you really have to go back to the cores of productivity so that you can be successful. Um, another big piece that's coming out is content. Um, I was listening to a podcast this morning and they phrased it perfectly. They said video is non-negotiable. It has to be done on a regular basis because that is the standard now. And we'll see where it goes from here. But if you're running ads, if you're doing Facebook content, there has to be solid video content in, in what you're posting. That is, that is a non-negotiable and that is becoming a basic. Um, if you need help with video, that that's what I'm here for. Um, but I do have a heavy, heavy push on that. Like I'm going to be doing some, um, I'm going to be doing some AB testing on Facebook just to see what's actually working because everything changes so frequently. Um, so you, I'm going to have to go back. But one of the main standards I've done in my research or seen in my research is that video has to be done with ads. So there's so many different pieces that you have to be aware of, but you've got to come up with that content. It doesn't have to be difficult. It can be quick. It can be easy. It can be simple. It can just be like mouthing words to a song, but you've got to have that content and you've got to figure out a way to connect the dots for people between, Hey, I'm entertaining you, but I'm also a realtor. So, um, and again, that brings you back to my last point. Don't let people forget that you're an agent. That happens so often, especially to my new people. And they're like, Oh, I didn't know you were an agent. Don't be a secret agent. That's not my term, but I hear it all the time. Don't be a secret agent. Let people know inobtrusively. You don't want to go, Hey, use me if I'm a realtor. Cause that's really annoying because, Hey, I'm your title person. I want you to uh, close your deals with me, but I don't rub that in people's faces. Um, it's a very creative way to do that for people. So make sure you're reaching out to people. You've got to do video. Um, and there's, you've got to keep reminding people what you do and why they should use you. Um, at, entertain people 80% of the time, 20% educate them. So that's a good little balance. Throw in a realtor sign, any of the dances that you're doing, host your open houses. Those are still classes, uh, still classic. So these have been my little tips about going back to the basics. I want you to be successful through this because I can't be successful without you being successful. 
And I really, if there's something I can do, like hosting a call blitz in your office or, um, you know, providing something to, as an incentive, um, as a free coaching session, something along those lines, let me know. And if you're afraid to make those phone calls, let's go to my office and let's do it one on one and we'll break it down and I'll help you walk through those phone calls because that is the most important thing that you can do is talk to people as an agent. All right. Bye guys. Get out on the streets. Let's make some contacts.